Well, here to weigh in on national security concerns heading into the new year are Tennessee Congresswoman Diana Harshbarger and uh, Georgia Congressman Andrew Clyde. Welcome to you both. You both sit on the House Homeland Security Committee. Great to have you with us. Uh, Congresswoman Harshbarger, I'll start with you. You know, President Biden already spoke with President Putin this month. Why do you think Putin requested another call? Well, he's just trying to bully a weak president right now. And when that happens, when you see weakness, you're going to go after that weakness. And he wants to see if Biden will do exactly what he said he would do and bring the allies together and use force if they do go into Ukraine, which will be a detriment to us. So that's my assumption. And, and I'm sure that Representative Clyde feels the same way. You're going to go after somebody if there's a weakness. Congressman Clyde, a lot of people have criticized the president. He's obviously at his vacation home in Delaware right now. But this call does come roughly two weeks before American and Russian diplomats were already scheduled to meet in Geneva to discuss the ongoing crisis to try to come to some negotiation. Do you think that Putin is trying to get ahead of this meeting? Or what does this tell us about his position, if anything? Well, thank you. Uh, I think that um, Vladimir Putin is quite a chess player. Uh, I think he thinks strategically, and I think that our president uh, doesn't really understand the implications of the next move he's going to make. Uh, I think he proved that in Afghanistan. He showed weakness on the world stage, uh, and our allies saw it, NATO saw it, and our worst, you know, the worst part is our enemies saw it. Uh, Russia, China, and Iran all saw it. And uh, when you see weakness like that, you exploit it because that's what they do. And that, uh, that's what's going to happen. I'm sure that Vladimir Putin decided that he would, uh, he would see where Biden was and try and get some concessions out of Biden, because Biden is weak. He has shown himself to be weak, and Vladimir Putin knows it. Yeah, no question about that. Congresswoman Harshbarger, you know, speaking of, of foreign relations, Iran's defense minister said that with this latest rocket launch, they achieved the research that they were looking for and that they'll hopefully they'll have a full operational launch soon. So this is not the last we're going to see of this testing. How concerned do you think we should be? We should be concerned about it uh, detrimentally. You know, we, we worry about China invading Taiwan. Here we have Russia bullying Ukraine, and now we have Iran. And these are all threats to the United States. And why are they doing that? Let's go back to what I said a few moments ago. It's they're going to exploit the weaknesses in Biden. They're going to see if he will do what he says he's going to do. So, yes, there's a fear uh, of having them with nuclear weapons. That would be a detriment to the Middle East and a detriment to our country, period. Hmm. I do want to switch gears to military vaccine mandates with you, Congressman Clyde, and you're a veteran. Uh, marine vaccine mm -hmm. exemptions have been denied. The military cited military readiness as their reasoning. You know, this is only affecting the Marines, the whole uh, military, all the branches of the military right now. What kind of risk does this pose to our national security and our able, ableness and readiness to defend ourselves? Well, you know, the military is saying right now that this is all about readiness. Well, if you look at what's happening um, because of the vaccine mandate, we are losing capable military personnel. And that will affect readiness way beyond any type of effect from, a, from this particular vaccine or from people not taking this particular vaccine. Uh, I think it's, it's shameful what our military is doing, um, denying service members uh, the basic First Amendment rights that they have. I mean. For the military to deny every religious exemption request, uh, there should be thousands of them that are approved, not thousands of them denied. And that's exactly what's happening. The military is looking at this the wrong way. And I will tell you that, that they will be held to account. There will come a day um, when they will be called before Republicans in charge of Congress. And the military will have to account for what they're doing. They are not helping our country right now with this vaccine mandate. They are, it is not going to go well, I think. Yeah. Well, Congresswoman, I want to shift uh, to China and talk about that. Over there, Hong Kong police, they arrested journalists at one of the last free press outlets. How strong is their democracy right now? And how much of the threat do you think they face from the CCP? Well, the CCP is a threat to not only Hong Kong, but to Taiwan. And 
you know, I go out on my own and I talk to these think tanks. I talk to these Chinese experts and, you know, it's a huge threat. If they take out the last beacon of democracy in Hong Kong, do we not think that they are coming after uh, Taiwan? You know, Russia and, and China have teamed up to, uh, to come against the United States. I mean, it's, it's a common enemy. We are the common enemy of China and Russia, Iran, any evil entity, we are the common enemy. And democracy is, they, they don't care about their own people, much less what happens over here. So they are, it's an immense threat and we better get serious about it. And the Pentagon better look at that and say, we need to do something. We better engage with Taiwan, give them the protection they need because that's the next sector. And we're just waiting after the Olympics to see what happens. Oh. Well, Congresswoman Clyde, uh, Congresswoman Harshbarger and Congressman Clyde, we thank you both. Happy New Year to you. And thank you so much for all that you do. We appreciate it. Well, thank Happy you. Happy New Year. New Year.